Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. And today we're going to be doing a tech repair and a general guide to uh, laptop repairs in general. So this, we're looking at the LCD screen. We're looking at a Dell Inspiron N4010. Now we're going to be doing a laptop screen replacement. Uh, so the LCD behind this, you can see when I turn it on here that the LCD is uh, malfunctioning. It's either, you know, if you've cracked your LCD or anything of this sort. So you can see that there. All right, so um, this guide is going to be showing you how to tear the screen apart and replace it with a new one that you've ordered. Now, this is kind of a general guide for most laptops, as uh, most laptops are about the same, but you, there may be different you know, parts and ways to get off uh, certain parts of a laptop. But nonetheless, uh, just a general guide. Obviously, you're going to need a screwdriver or some sort of you know, toolkit ready for the repair. Uh, I'm using my iFixit screwdrivers, and along with that, you're going to need... Uh, a replacement screen, as you guys can see in the reflection there, uh, I got one from Amazon for this customer to replace their laptop screen. So first things first, you want to get all your things set up. You want to power down the laptop, obviously, and remove the battery. And from there, we're going to start the repair. And so a quick note, we have everything laid out here. A couple notes you want to take into consideration. When repairing the laptop, like I said, uh, no matter what you know laptop it is, you want to remove the battery so there's no power source or anything running through. Uh, you also probably want to have something handy for you, the screws. These are what I use for my iPod repairs. So anything like an ice cube tray or anything that has divots or holes or something that you can keep the screws in uh, because there's going to be a couple of screws and, you know, depending on your laptop and how it's held together. Now, ideally, most laptops, you can either pop it from the front of the screen, which is I'm going to be doing. Uh, you can remove the front hinge um, and then tear the screen out from there. But some you actually have to open from, uh, you have to remove compartments where the keyboards are. And then if you can access the keyboard, you can lift the keyboard and you can lift the whole face off. My suggestion is you look up your model online and see if there's a teardown guide. But for most of them, the method I'm going to use, you can just go through the front, pry the, uh, the, the bezel off of the LCD screen, and then we can work from there. Ideally, also, you want to discharge yourself so you don't have any static electricity. So whether you're wearing, you know, if you wear sandals or barefoot, touch something metal. And if you have an electrostatic strap, I have that somewhere lying around here, but I won't be using it for this repair. Uh, you can use that too to ground yourself so that you don't fry any pieces in the laptop. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and remove the faceplate of the front bezel. All right, so this case for you people repairing the N4010 uh, Inspiron, the first thing you want to do is remove this panel, this bezel right here. It snaps off if you can get a good grip on it. Now you're going to have to kind of place your thumbs on the LCD and kind of push in. Uh, if you're afraid to break it, then, I mean, if the screen's already broken, then that shouldn't really be a problem. But you can actually just pry the bezel off, and you'll hear these, these hinges kind of snap off here as I go along the screen here. And you just kind of work your way down, adding some force each way you go down, and just keep on going. You want to kind of run around the edges. You can start from, ideally, the top corners and go downwards. And when you get to the bottom, it's probably going to be a little bit harder. Uh, because you have to kind of work in. If you have a flat screwdriver or something like that, that can help too. Um, ideally, you just want to get this hinge kind of. All right, so same thing with the front. You kind of just want to wedge your way in there. And don't be afraid if you hear that cracking noise. Again, you're just trying to pop these off the uh, actual hinge it's attached to. Now, not all cases and bezels are like this. You can just snap off. Some are a little bit different, so you have to keep that in mind as you're doing this. So again, the front is probably the hardest part. Now again, working from the front is a little bit scary because you got to kind of pry in deep. And there is some adhesive on this, so you have to kind of really use strength to get it off of these corner hinges right here. These hinges right here and here are probably the harder areas to kind of get it off at. And again, you kind of have to use a little bit of force and there you go everything comes off there and we have the actual whole bezel sitting right here and yeah now again not all laptop bezels are like this not all will just pry off but if you can kind of get a feel for yours and see if it will come off then you kind of can work from there again look up your laptop and again when buying a new screen always look up your laptop you want to make you know triple check that it's the right screen for your model with that we're going to proceed by getting the four uh there's kind of the corner screws as you can see here in the bottom left corner and top and right. So I'm gonna go ahead and position that and uh, get my screwdriver ready and we'll go ahead and take this off. All right, next you wanna actually remove the top right screw and the top left screw 
while keeping the bottom screws in place and you just kind of want to loosen the bottom right and bottom left screws while removing again the top. So I'm going to go ahead and, I know you can't see this, I'm going to proceed to remove the top right and left screw. Uh, this is because there's screws on the side of the, the LCD and we just want to tilt the screen forward that way we can actually get those screws out. So I got one screw, put it in my little compartment here. Working on the top left one. I know you guys can't see this, but it's the silver screws in the top left and right. They should be the only ones here. Ideally, if you also have a broken webcam, you can access the webcam from this point. Now, for these screws right here, these, there's three screws in the bottom. You just want to get the two holding the actual frame of the screen, and you'll be able to tell. You just want to loosen them. It's the one. You can see the one in the very left corner and the one with a kind of black, uh, looks like a black uh, spacer underneath it. I'll go ahead and proceed to remove the right one. This one right here. No, I'm not try not to get in the cameras away too much. You just want to loosen these. You don't have to remove them completely just yet. And kind of loosen the other one. And from there, you'll be able to tilt the screen forward to access the other screw. So I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera for this. All right, here we are from a side view of the screen. And what you want to do is you want to those top. You just want to reach for the top corner of the screws you removed and kind of tilt it, like I said, forward just enough to reveal that screw and the, there's a couple others running along the edge here there's about three on each edge so you want to remove that which will allow you to remove the uh, actual screen itself so in this case I'm gonna go ahead and start with the top two screws that you can't see here there's three again black screws one on the uh, three on the right and three on the left and you obviously want to keep these screws separated as well so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these again I'm working from the top down so you can't see me uh, removing the screws and finally well, I'm just going to kind of push the laptop back here and work on the third one from a weird angle here maybe I should move the camera back a tad and again start removing the screw all right at this point now you want to tilt the screen forward and it should fall out of its frame while holding on you need to be careful especially if okay so you need to see that it's attached here, there's a cable. You can kind of see it if I bend forward. That long cable that it's attached to, and it should be adhesed to the back of this panel right here. It's adhesed right here. So you can kind of just lift it up. You don't want to tear the connector. You're just lifting it up because it is adhesed. You just want to get it to where it can kind of pull off right there, and you can lay the screen flat down. Now you can see if I tilt this camera forward here. You can see the actual LCD connector right there. And all you want to do is, if you can see this from a flat angle, this tape, you want to remove it. So, I mean, whatever you want to do to remove it, you're just going to need to get this connector loose. And basically, you're going to take the new screen and put the new connector in. So, I'm just going to go ahead. All right. Now that the tape is removed and you have also removed the adhesive, you just kind of want to wiggle left to right. And it should just pop out, just a little ribbon connector. Now what you can do is remove the old LCD, so I'm just going to kind of slide it out here. And you'll see you'll just have your connector left to place that old LCD somewhere safe. And again, from there, you're going to want to pull out your new LCD. Again, I can leave a link from the one I ordered in Amazon if you're replacing this exact model. But again, if you're replacing a different laptop screen, you want to keep in mind that you're going to need to look up your model. And uh, you're going to need to uh, find the correct model for your laptop. All right, so with that, I'm going to get the new screen ready and we're going to place it on. All right. At this point, I have the new LCD seated like I had the old seated like I had the old old LCD. And what I'm going to do is now just kind of uh, edge my way in with this connector. It's kind of hard to attach back in because it's so tiny. But you just kind of want to find a way to push from the top of the LCD while you're pushing in the connector. I'm going to try and get a grip on it, and you have to be careful because that old tape is uh, going to be in the way. You just want to make sure it's seated all tightly in, and you can do that by obviously just observing it. Once you can see that it's fully secured, you want to tape it down like it was before. And obviously, you repeat everything in reverse. So I'm going to lift this up, mount it back in, and look at that. A new screen all seated. So now I just got to screw everything back in like I had it before and remove the tape that, you know, is obviously holding this uh, protector, the screen protector on the old, new LCD in, and then I'll remove that. But when I screw everything in. 
here we are back again and uh, I put all the screws back again obviously you're working in reverse I'm just putting the last top left and right screws back on to fasten everything down um, but like I was mentioning earlier uh, thing you want to keep in mind when, when obviously you're doing everything in reverse but it really really helps out if you have one a obviously your two free hands if you're filming it's kind of hard but um if you have a magnetic screwdriver if you want to invest in one of those like a magnetic head for your screwdrivers and it's just a regular phillips screwdriver or phillips head i'm using but um just because it helps when placing the screws back in because they don't fall out of, you know they stay to the they stick to the uh screwdriver and they don't go moving around and stuff like that it just helps when lining it up especially on those uh three on the six screws on uh on the sides you know or the three on one side and three on the other side really really helps if you're doing when you're doing that um, and so much after that, you're just kind of fastening everything down again, so. And also, it obviously helps if you screw everything in right straight. Let's get my screw. And then, obviously, you want to fasten the bottom right screws as well. Bottom right and bottom left, I should say. Okay, so that's fastened in. Now, lastly, the top right I need to fasten in. Again, it's not the same for every laptop, like I said, in this case for the N4010 Inspiron by Dell. It is that easy, um, but again, you know, it's not guaranteed. And there goes a screw for the other ones. All right, uh, at this point, you're just going to take your old bezel and kind of snap it back into place. So laying it back over, finding the marks, and kind of just applying pressure to the corners. And the top and is really not that bad to not that hard to snap in. So everything snaps in. And obviously at the bottom you want to snap in, push down like this, so you'll hear those cracks. And I think that's about everything. Run your fingers through the top, look for any cracks, and again just kind of reassuring. And with that guys, I think that's a that's a good deal. I think that's it. So with that I'm gonna go ahead and then flip this down and move this in like so apply the battery here and we'll see if we're in business so batteries in let me lock everything down flip it back upside down move got a lot of stuff on my desk right now open up the screen and turn it on look at that we're in business Alright guys, so that is how you replace the LCD screen on the Dell Inspiron. I'll just uh, system resume. Dell Inspiron uh, 4010. Hope you or N4010. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this tutorial is gonna be accompanied with a post over at digitaldojos.com for tutorials, guides, pictures, etc. Thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to comment, thumbs up the video, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thanks a lot for watching.